Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Cardinal Quest 2. Guys, thank y'all so much for all the awesome support on the last episode and the series. As always guys, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Act 3 today guys, the 4 plane, and we're going to be playing as the wizard. I did go through the chapter 2 or act 2 with the wizard just to get familiar with the abilities. And I think you're really going to like this playthrough. The crowd control with this teleport spell. I thought at first glance I was like, this is going to be kind of lame. It actually isn't. It's very, very helpful. And this transmute turns loose change into extra gold. Now, this wasn't exactly incredible on the last run but I also didn't run into a whole lot of shopkeeps that I cared to trade with so at any rate let's create our character we're gonna do normal run again we're gonna start doing hard mode after we get through I think either all of the characters or all of the chapters I'm not sure yet city gates it's been a while since you came to the capital now you're back with a score to settle so this is my fireball skill this is my teleport away skill and we start off with a scroll of summoning, a full health potion, and an unk. Let's see. You know, I've never heard the music in this area. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up so that you guys can check it out. That's pretty cool. I can always turn it lower in the, um, in the recording. Okay, who's this city guard? Hmm. Alright, so, as you can tell, as a wizard, <laughs> not real good at uh, melee combat, right? If I go to my character sheet, you can see that my attack is 9, my defense is 10, speed is 6, intellect is 12, faith is 10, and then 1 magic resistance stealth. Few skills to choose from here. We're gonna be going down... Pro I went down this route last time. You can only choose one of the second uh, or the, the last tier talents. And I think I'm going to choose Ice Blast this time. I went with Enslave and it was really, really cool. But honestly, it just kind of works like any other summon. So we're going to be going down this path of Ice Blast. All right. Let's start this party off. City Guard is dead. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, 10 turns until Fireball refills. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait. All right. There's a City Guard as well. Let's fireball him. <laughs> At first, it's going to seem really, really easy, like unfairly easy. But it does get much, much more challenging as we go. And I've never even been done this level. I don't like the way the grass really, really inhibits the way... Or the bushes. It inhibits the way I see stuff. That Fog of War doesn't exactly let go real well with the grass. Alright, fireball, easy sauce. Oh, he's not dead, actually. Six, four, three. Oh, he can throw stuff. No, that is that an archer? Yeah, city guard. That would already make sense if he had like a crossbow or something. Okay, I've still yet to use this teleport away ability because I won't I haven't had to. Okay, that's a city guard. Looks like he has a sword and shield. And there's another one. Now this is probably gonna where that's gonna be coming in handy. Now he noticed me. No problem. <laughs> he noticed me, but yet he didn't do anything else. Now watch this. Sometimes it can work much, much better in your favor. This would be a cool map for the thief, don't you think? With all the bushes you can hide in and stuff. Three. Not too bad. Let's get him away. <laughs> Strategy is real. Oh, what is this? A mana potion. I like the sound of that. We'll go ahead and... This is a guard captain. He's probably going to be pretty rough. Mana potion refills both of, well, all of your um, mana based spells. Uh, so anything that is, that's pretty much an intellect skill, it uses it. So first we'll do that. And then we'll send him away, but he resisted. We'll just try to kill him. There we go. First physical hit of the game. Not too bad, right? I can't wait till we have um, a little bit more intellect. Because this skill will refill pretty fast. And we're going to get an ability to kind of double attack. So that's going to be really cool. 
Okay, that only hit for one. Uh, what is this? An invisibility potion? Watch this. <laughs> uh oh. Found armor. Hopeful gloves of dexterity. So faith and attack up. We'll take that. We're going for an intellect build, by the way. Ouch, sucker. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh. How about that? All right, perfect. He did do a little bit of damage to us. Not that bad. I didn't realize he would run away from melee. I could have probably stand stood a, a pretty good chance. Now, this is blessed weapon. We've had this skill before. Not really the best skill to work with this build, but it's better than not having the skill. Uh, so I'm sure we'll find a place to use it. What is that? An int? Um. <laughs> wild, huh? As long as they don't shoot, I think I'll be okay. We'll go ahead and use Blessed Weapon. Alright, we did it, and he dropped a health potion. Don't mind if I do. I know y'all hate when I use the mouse for <laughs> for the the, uh, the skills. It's just I'm just used to it, guys. It's either or. It's whatever. I'm I'm used to like pressing one, two, and three, but the mouse is all right. All right. You can go over there. That should give me enough time. There we go. And we'll use holy sword for this one or blessed weapon. And our first level up. Okay, so force field is going to be for defense. Willpower is pretty cool because it lowers the enemy's resist and then it brings us to enslave, which is you can basically take a monster that's halfway down and enslave him for the rest of the level. But I really want to go with ice blast this round. So spell damage and this skill really isn't worth it until you start getting later on into the levels. So inspiration is pretty cool too. This will be the instant recharge that I was talking about. So this this skill tree is is pretty boss. And as far as leech, well, I guess if you're building like a battle mage, that's pretty cool. Depending on what skills you get, I guess most builds would probably work a little bit better. Like this might be a great time to do a battle mage because of blessed weapon. Ow! Man, die. Okay. Um, we'll get him away and see what this armor is all about. Leather Ormit will give us some defense. That's good. All right. And a health orb. That's wonderful. And we got our fireball charged again. Fireball to the face. Bless weapon. Yeah, bless weapon's coming in pretty handy, I've, I've got to say. Not bad. It augments my stats, which I don't have to fight real well hand to hand, you know? I know he's like right around there. I'm kind of. There we go. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Scroll of summoning. There we go. I'm still pretty frugal with all of my items, too, guys. Like, I don't like to get to the point where it's, um. Oh, how should I put it? Like. I like to cut it really, really close if I can without my items. Hmm. Where to now? It didn't say that we killed everything, so there's got to be something left. What about to the right over here? Uh-huh. I saw you in the shadows. How about a fireball? Alright, now we're gonna use Blessed Weapon for the rest. There we go. Alright, perfect. That wore off, there's nothing, there's gonna be nothing in there. There's never chest in those little alcoves. It would make you think there is, but there really isn't. As many as I've explored. Oh! Now that's a problem. Okay. I really don't want to, um... I really don't want to get trapped in here. Where did that int go? I don't know where it went, man. <laughs> it's kind of scary, huh? 
And I was just saying there's nothing ever in those corners. Well, a monster was in those corners. Maybe this is the... Maybe this act will change my mind about stuff like that. Alright, I found the exit. That's cool. Let's go ahead and get him out of here. Recharge. Fireball. Finish him. Now I really want to kill that ant. Oh, there he is. He hides, man. Oh, he's dead. Alright, good. That's all of them. Okay. Yeah, there was still nothing. He was guarding nothing. Thought because of the way he was hugging that corner, there was gonna be something. Oh, well. Let's get out of here. We'll do one more level. And then we'll have to cut the video until the next part. This part, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Depends how long it takes me. We'll see, though. I don't want my videos to go on too long. I like them to be around 25 minutes or so. 20, 25 minutes. That way it doesn't take them as long to render. I can get them out at a decent time and you guys don't get bored with it. Okay. Pretty good. Perfect. Ouch, sucker. Get out of here. Who is this? <gasps> There's a merchant. Don't mind if I do. Is he running away? Oh, he was a merchant, but... What the hell? Death and taxes? I got an achievement a second ago. All right, I don't know what that's all about, but... I thought we could have, uh... We could have hired... Or you could have hired him or something. All right. He's dead. Get this guy away. Am I still getting shot? Alright. Oh, what is this? An anti-venom? Oh, trash. Level up. Alright. We're gonna put it into spell damage again. We're gonna keep going down this same route, guys. Uh, we have to wait until level 4 for this. Um... But as soon as we get that, we're going to get... As soon as we can get that, we're going to, because it's absolutely amazing. Man, there's a lot of stuff right here. Alright, bless weapon. What is that? A bandit. First time I've seen one of those. Oh, I think bless weapon wore off. Yeah, it did. So far, Fireball's working out pretty good for us. I really like the music, too. You can go over there. Alright, and I found the exit. Perfect. What's great about the exit, too, is like you can rush a floor if you really need to. Like, if you're super low on health, you don't really even have to, um to take a chance, you know? You can just keep on going. Whew, alright, we're doing pretty good. It really helps getting those couple points in spell damage like I had. Last, uh, last playthrough I didn't get that. I didn't do that. And uh, it was a lot harder to hit these guys. See, it's not bad being able to swing a couple times and kill them with your staff. But man, having to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of those things? <gasps> That's not too good. Hold on. A guard captain. Okay, ooh, he has some speed on him. Uh, how about... How about an invisibility potion right now? I've been discovered. Alright, we happen to get away from the guard captain. That's good. Let's knock out some of this riffraff. Hmm. Alright. Oh man, he resisted? Who's casting speed on this guy? Alright, not bad. Not bad. That guard captain wasn't quite as bad as I thought. How do we get in here? Oh, that's not a door. That's a window. I want this chest. Oh, we go straight down. I see. I was like, is that a door? Why won't it open? Huh. 
One to three, but intellect down. Nope, trash. Intellect build, thanks. Good, another chest. And this will bring our attack up, but our faith down. Hmm, do we have anything? This is based on faith, so nope, we're gonna trash that. And the sword's been alright for us. I'm not in a hurry to get rid of my faith points yet. Anybody home? No. Aha. Uh -huh. Cap of Endurance. Yeah, I'll take three bonus health. I sure will. All right, that's wonderful. Let's go. Let's go here. Nothing. Oh, another chip. Oh, oh, a scavenger. Okay, that's the shopkeep. Uh, oh, now this is good, guys. I will sacrifice attack for intellect any day. Okay, well not any day, any day with a magician or a wizard. <laughs> Alright, full health potion is only 50, I should definitely buy that. Superb leather van braces will bring my faith up by one and my intellect down by one, nope. This will bring my defense and my health up, but it will reduce my stealth. I don't think I'm going to take that, but I will take this. It's going to fill up one of my other slots, but it's really, really nice to have extra health pots, man. It really is. Alright, this priest, we're just going to deal with him or her. And... It's a significant upgrade. I think it's worth one intellect point. I really do. Because, like, you would think, you know what? Every once in a while, you will get in a fight no matter how good you plan. So, in those times, you can take a lot of damage, and that is going to mitigate it. Blinding Powder, we can trade that in for the Anti-Venom. Pretty much the only thing I've ever seen Anti-Venom good for is spiders. So, it's nice when you do have it around, but if you don't, that's pretty much, it's pretty much useless. Uh, what Gentry and a Battle Mage... I don't know what the gentry is, but fear. Do I just kill you? I guess so. Wow, he had some gold. 65. <gasps> A holy staff. All right. This will bring faith up. Hmm. Nope. Trash it. I wish that would have been a staff with some intellect bonus on it. That's all of them. All right, now I could just loot the town like it was mine. Health. We got four points in health for one point of stealth. We'll take it. Because stealth we're not real reliant on. It is nice that they don't notice this, but you know what I mean. It's not a stealth build, so... Uh, this is brings speed up. We'll trash that. See, the transmutability always gives us more money than it really is. Oh, that's cool. Leather shoes. This will bring our stealth up, but bring our health down, no, and we will take Polymorph. Not that we'll use it. <laughs> we might. Well, I've, I've been burnt with Polymorph before, let's just put it that way. Um, that looks like it, guys. That looks like that's about it. Uh, what was that? Oh, I see what that yellow is. That's our where our anti-venom is. Uh, yep, that's it. Cool. Well. The video has gone on long enough, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. I will be back with another one tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.